<laughs> okay, so I got some of these. And I gave them these as an experiment. That gel is not going in my baby's mouth at all. <laughs> Mama Sam 360 here. Before we begin, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon. Hey guys, Mama Sam here. I'm a first time mom of a four month old. If you're new to my channel, welcome and hello. Um, we are working on teething. So little boy is now teething, meaning that his teeth are coming in. And I did a mommy mistake that I'm gonna tell all y'all. So then when you have a baby or if you have one now, you're aware of it. I got these like teething rings that my pediatrician told me to buy to help him with teething. Well, I did and I sanitized them and one of them burst open and I looked at the chemicals. I looked at the liquid inside and it's like chemical type stuff. And I was like, no, I'm not going to let my baby have this because of that. Because it's going to go in his mouth. Something's going to happen to his system. I'm like, what if a tooth comes in and he bites down hard on one of these? So, no. We're going to get rid of these teething toys. Because we got a couple of them. We're going to get rid of them completely. And we're going to go, like, wooden. We're going to go more wooden, natural type things. So, we put them on our Amazon wish list. Um, I purchased a couple to see if he would actually like it. So, um, they come on Monday. So, I'll put that there. Another thing that I'm doing to help with this teething is I'm taking his little rags here and I'm rolling them up and putting them in a tub so I can put them in the closet. So then um, when he starts teething, I can just grab one and go, you know. Um, what you can do is I'm going to secure these with a, with a rubber band or something so then um, they're frozen like this so then when he starts chewing on them, they're fine. Um, but when you want to make sure is like all these loose strings and stuff are cut off so they don't get stuck in the baby's mouth and there are no like chemicals and stuff in this, which I am excited and happy for my baby's favorite chew toy is a chemical red one. So we're hopefully going to convert him to a non-chemical one. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay. So I have some rags that I'm going to roll. First you lay it out like this, you spread it out, and then you're going to cut off the tags. What I do is I cut off the tags, and before you do anything, in case the tags get tagged, get stuck in the baby's mouth, so I like to cut off the tags, but that's up to you. And then you're going to fold the rag in half, and then you're just going to start rolling it until you've got a roll. It doesn't have to be a perfect roll or anything, just as long as it's all rolled. Um, you can tie them with a, um, or secure them with a, with a, some type of, uh, ponytail or whatever, but I chose not to do that with this, but that's up to you. Um, so, um, whatever rags we, you want to use, don't forget to cut off the tags if you choose to do so. Um, I just pop these in the freezer once I am done with them and then give them to my son. Sometimes they're a little bit cold, so I take them out before I actually give them to my son so they can not be as cold. Um, but that is up to your baby's preference. <music> Next, you're going to run it over hot or warm water or cool water. That's up to you. I just ran it over some warm water because I had used warm water before. Um, ignore the diaper on my sink. I was rinsing the stains out with some Dawn soap. Hey guys, 
So Mama Sam here. Um, it is like the next day and this is a, con <clears throat> a continuation of the teething um, rings and stuff that we have found. Um, we are in the look for more teething rings, actually better ones, but I want to show you. You probably saw this one earlier in the blog, but this is the one we have. The one that burst open, actually we threw it away before I could actually record. So we're gonna do a little experiment on this one so I can show you guys this gel that's inside. Cause we're gonna get rid of this one anyway and just throw it away. I'm not gonna like sell it to anybody because honestly, I don't want any other baby having this stuff inside. And then I will show you what we are using as an alternative instead for teething rings. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is our teething ring right here. Maybe I'll focus. Um, so um, what happened was there was like a little hole in our teething ring and I had no idea it was there, like no idea at all. And I was giving my baby it like free, whatever, you know, had chew on it, have fun type of thing. And then I sanitized it and that's when I found that hole. Actually, my husband discovered it and he's like, uh, should we get this back? I'm like, no, we're not giving that to our baby. So, um... The gel that's inside of these, I have no idea what is in this. It's like chemical jelly stuff. I don't want my baby di digesting that. I don't want to digest it. So why should I give it to my baby to digest? So let's do an experiment. And see what is inside of these. So I'm going to cut this open. Look at, there's some gel on the scissors already. <laughs> Look at that. It's clear. Look at that. Like the tiniest cut. Just cut this open. I don't know what that gel is. And it doesn't feel right. And I don't want my baby eating that or anything. Like not at all. I don't even want to eat this. So even though we found these cheap at Walmart, I say no go. Honestly, no go, no go at all because we didn't know this little hole was in. Maybe we got like a defective one or something, but no go for us because we don't want that type of gel inside our baby's mouth. Let me do a different angle for you guys so you guys can kind of see it. Okay, so this is the ring with the gel. So I'm gonna squeeze a little, oh, I gotta squeeze up here. Squeeze a little bit out. See, there it is. See that gel? That gel is not going in my baby's mouth at all. So we are getting rid of these rings. If you're expecting or whatever, I suggest not getting these rings because you might get a defective one like I did. So, yep. Yep. So, let me turn on this light quick. Okay, so that is like my little segment on teethers and stuff like that. Like... Avoid anything with those gels at all. That was like the number one mommy mistake I've made so far. So yeah, if you're looking to get us any teethers or anything, they're in the wish list in the description below. I will put a bunch of good teethers there. If you have any suggestions, send them to me and stuff like that. Um, Ready to be changed? Do you want party? You want party? See the spotlight? Should we carry you over? Come on. Whoop. The dog is freaking out. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay. We're doing it. We are doing it. Let's turn off the light. Whoa. <laughs> He's attracted to the spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? You see yourself? Is it you? 
Is it sad now? No? No sad. Damn mailboxes. Oh, we just passed our mailbox. Whoops. All right. Yeah. So, hey guys, we're at the domain of Austin. Yep. Just walking around. We went to Tesla, saw the Model 3, Model Y. Oh wait, slept in box. And now we're going to go check out some watches. Benbridge. Yeah, right baby? He doesn't know what it is, but we're going to go check it out. checking out Tudor. So uh, Tudor and Rolex go hand in hand. This is like uh, the sister of Rolex. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of history with Tudor. Amazing, amazing brand. Uh, I, I really like those two. Oh, but that's that's that one's very, very good. That one's the Black Bay 58. Yeah. That, dude, that is so thick. Like, look how thick that is compared to this one. Nuts. I like those. Wait a minute. That's a good size. <laughs> this is so fun. Like, just. Looking at watches makes a big difference. Uh, just and trying them on, or actually trying them on, to see what actually fits on your wrist instead of looking at pictures on Amazon and making a purchase. And then you're like, wait, uh -oh, that's way too big on my wrist than I thought. So th this is fun. Going into a, a dealer first to try them on, and then. Make yeah, here's Todd Hoyer. This is what oh, I know. We'll go. Okay, take care. But yeah, this is Todd Hoyer. This is what I bought my brother. I, I bought my brother that one. Hey, guys. So as you saw, we were out and about today as a family because this coming week, it's gonna be very, very, very busy for us as a family. So I just wanna show you all the things that we got, starting with what came in the mail. So with the TD rings, uh, we got rid of all of those and we went to the wood ones and I got one of these to see if my son would like it. And it comes with a wood and a rubber piece and a texture piece. 
So that's pretty awesome. I'm probably going to order a couple more of these so he can just teeth on these. Um, so he's liking it so far. Um, the next thing that we got that came in the mail, which I am really happy for. Um, again, I'm going to thank Jeff for these gifts because honestly, I'm able to do what I need to for my diapers now. And that makes me really happy right now because my son just loves wearing cloth diapers. He absolutely hates wearing regular diapers. So that means I have to keep up on his demands on cloth diapers. So what Jeff got me is he got more of the bamboo liners for me, which is great because I am getting rid of these liners because from what I saw, I will put a chart here. These microfiber liners are not as absorbent as you think they are, which I believe that because when I, after I change his diaper at night, this is like completely, completely soaked. And then like part of my bed is soaked or part of his bed or wherever he's sleeping is soaked. So yeah, we will be getting rid of these microfiber liners since Jeff got me another pack of these, I can finally double these up for nighttime. So the bamboo liners are more absorbent than the microfiber liners. So I'm doubling the bamboo ones up for nighttime diapers. And then during the day, we're just gonna use the boosters, which he got me more boosters. He got me more smart nappy boosters which I'll put a booster over the this for during the day. The reason I double it up at night is because um, at night you can't really monitor it as much and he sleeps at longer periods, so he will pee more and stuff like that. During the day, I can be like, oh, it's two hours. Oh, you peed, I can change you. I'm not, you know. So now, um, he's making it possible for me to double up and get rid of these microfiber liners, which I originally was going to do and I'm still going to do. So thank you, Jeff. And one of the things that he did give us, which was on my Amazon list, which I did reach out to the community and I asked, hey, is this something that you need? Something that, you know, and a lot of moms came back and said they loved it. So this is what he got me. He got me the sound portable travel machine. Um, I've seen a lot of moms use these as white noise to help their baby sleep. So I am going to use it on my baby tonight to see if it works for him to sleep. But honestly, he's been sleeping really, really well. But um, I don't know how he sleeps without me in the room. So this is gonna work during daytime naps when there's loud noises. So I can just put him in his bassinet, turn this on and go. he'll go to sleep. So hopefully that helps now because normally during the day he'll sleep in the living room with us while we're doing stuff and he can just sleep through all of that. But when I go and put him down in his bassinet, he automatically wakes up. So, um, Hopefully this solves my problem so he can move into his crib. With that said, um, so Jeff and I know each other from this community called Needs Gaming. I will put their little uh, name here for their YouTube and I'll put it in the description below. Um, Needs Gaming is like a community that I am a part of. Um, they have a YouTube channel, which they do animations and they talk about different games and they talk about who they are as people and stuff like that. They go to gaming events and um, they show off their skills. And, um, they have such a great community of people that really enjoy hanging out with each other. Um, they have such an amazing attitude and good advice to people who need the advice. Like a couple years ago, I remember Needs telling me a story about how he said that, you know, if you want to go do something, go do it, you know, change your life, be who you want to be. And that stuck with me for the last four years is I want to be who I want to be. And so because of them, it changed my life. So the notes that were attached to all this um, the first one reads, 
It's the new Thick 44 insert pee or poop. Who cares? Just remember, justice for Cooter. And if you're watching this and you're from the Knees Gaming channel, <laughs> if you're already interested, please click the link below and go and check out their channel. Um, let's see what else. Try the new Neves Gaming Super Absorbent Cloth. Great baby, but, um, or your Wonder Broom. Um, <laughs> Wonder Broom is a reference to, they made an animation um, called Duralis and Associates. And in one of, the, in, um, in their episodes, there was this character that sold Wonder Brooms. And so um, I will also put that link in the description. And you can see it right here. <laughs> You can scroll through the animations and you can check them out and see the all the different episodes that they have created and um so yeah uh, the next note that they that was attached is hey neves gaming approved it's better than listening to simon sing so i'm just going to insert this yep if you want to know what this is please check out the channel below um so yeah thank you jeff for these gifts i appreciate them so much um so i'm just really happy at that i finally have some bamboo liners for the diapers that i have but i am in the lookout for more diapers because he wants to wear them all the time now and if he's wearing them all the time the set that i have lasts me two days and then i have to do laundry again so I'm looking to do laundry four days instead of two days now, especially if he's wearing them at night. So, yep. <laughs> what? What? What's wrong? So we went to a thrift store and originally I was just looking for, um, I really wasn't looking for anything particular. I would just wanted to go there to see what they had. And, um, one minute. Okay, I'm back. Little guy. He wants to... <laughs> he didn't want that, apparently. Did you not want that? No? So, we went through to a thrift store, and I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I just wanted to see what was there. And we got... I actually found a couple of things that we liked. Yeah. Can we show them? So, we got this. We got this for like a dollar. Yeah, we got this for a dollar. And my son's theme is space and Air Force for his nursery. So this is perfect. Yeah? You want your passy? And right, let's do this. I think he spiked his bottle. So this is perfect for his room he has a fighter jet a navy fighter jet so we'll just add this to it so we're on the lookout for these two so that's awesome really so the next thing that we found the next thing that we found are you getting tired one minute okay so we're back again take like four or five or six or whatever the next thing that we found was um, we were just looking at the baskets and everything. And I originally was just looking at baskets for fun. But um, then I saw all their Easter stuff out. And I was like, wait a minute. William needs an Easter basket. So I started looking at all the different baskets they had. And most of them were like Easter type baskets. And I was like, I don't really want that type of basket. So I found this green basket it's like eastery so i'm gonna cut this off because i really don't want that and then i'm gonna try to make it like my son's easter basket so it's pretty cool he can carry it on his own put his eggs in it his chocolate so this is a pretty cool basket i'm just gonna like cut off this part right here and kind of try to make it our own what do you think and it's green <laughs> And then um, after, like right next to those that basket, we actually saw these farm type baskets for our garden. For like, how much were they? For like $2. So 
So these farm type baskets for our garden. And we saw two of these, a blue one and a green one. And we just got both of them so we could put like flowers in them or like plant stuff for our garden in them. So we got a green one here and it's pretty awesome. I, I thought maybe I was going to paint these, but I love the farmhouse look on them type of thing. And I like how it says Cottontail Farms. It's like a farmhousey feel. And I thought maybe I could put plant some flowers in here and put it in my front porch or something. So that's pretty cool that I found these. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I think that's all we got, mister. Yeah. I came home to the dryer done with diapers. So we originally went out for... Um, he went in originally... Um, when we went out, he had a regular diaper on and he actually didn't like it. And it caused like a reaction on his area and stuff like that. So I immediately took that off and I put a cloth diaper on and all those bumps and everything went away. Like right away. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm just really happy that we got the things we need. And I just want to thank everybody for your support and I just want to, you know, be there for when everybody needs it too. Um, let's see. I think that's all we're going to put in this video. It's a pretty long video. Um, there's a lot to it right now. Um, I know this video kind of came out late, but um, we wanted to make a family day. And I recorded a little bit of what we did for our family day, as you saw. But um, this week's going to be pretty crazy. So, um, again, I'm putting out a video once a week instead of twice a week because I'm going to have a crazy, like, three or four weeks. It's going to be crazy. So, it's just going to be one video a week. And so, right, little boy? Yeah. He keeps looking at the spotlight. So, please like and subscribe and be awesome. And don't forget to... Tell somebody that you love them or you care about them. And don't forget, moms, you are a great mom. Don't forget that you are great people and wonderful people. And remind yourself that you are doing great things. And remind yourself that no matter what happens, you are making it. And God put you on this world for a reason. God put you in a situation for a reason. Um, our, our life isn't as perfect as it seems. But that'll be in another video. I'll talk about all that and all the finances it takes to have a baby. So, thank you guys for watching. And thank you, Jeff, for all the things you have done. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Needs Gaming. Because, because of them, I met my husband. Because of them, my life got put together. And it was just, it's just wonderful and great. So... Thank you guys for watching. Um, please don't forget to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Bye. What are you doing to your mama?